Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to add a category of product in Web POS. First, visit the login page and use the IMS software's provided username and password to sign in. You'll see the software homepage after signing in. As shown in the diagram, categories are utilized in Product Master and to view reports according to categories. Let's begin with the category. A category divides a product into several groupings. Now, select Category Master from the Master drop-down menu to add a new category. Click on Add Category, specify your category name and save it. A new category is saved and has been added in this location. You are allowed to save as many as you require. Now let's look how to map a product category in the Product Master. When adding a group, pick Product Master from the Master drop-down menu then click on Add Group, where you can choose the default category. You also need to add a category to the subgroup. Go to Product Masters, click on Add Subgroup and choose the default category from the drop-down menu. Finally. When creating a product in the Product Master, the category you created will show up here in detail information. From the drop-down menu in the Category section, choose the default category. Now let's look into Purchase Report. You can view the Purchase Report category-wise by dividing the product's categories. To view that report, click Report and then from that drop-down select Purchase Report category-wise. In this section, you can select the default category, then select Run. Here is the category wise purchase report. Now let's look into sales report. You can view the sale report category wise by dividing the products categories. To view that report, click Report and then from that drop down select Sales Report category wise. In this section, you can select the default category, then select Run. Here is the category wise sales report. Now, let's look into stock summary report. Simply click on report then go to inventory report, from that drop down click on stock summary report, and choose the default category, then select run. You can see the stock summary report of those category. Now let's look into membership point master. Where you can set value and point to your members you created. Click on Master from that drop down go to Point Master. Click on Create New Point Setting, then first choose Member Category from the drop down. From this drop down, the default item category will then be displayed, select according to your need. Enter the value which is equal to that point, and click Add, the newly created membership point with category will be displayed on the screen. To save it, select Save. Now let's look into Others, where you change bulk wise price of that particular category. Select the Bulk Sales Price Master option under Other from the drop down menu. In the Category section, select Default Category from this drop down. You can update a new bulk price once you've chosen category. Click on Save to keep your new bulk price. Old batch of that product that you have selected is updated with new price. You can see that on the item wise price of the product list. We have demonstrate about item wise price on our other video. IMS software has a list of reports where you can also choose a category while loading other reports. We hope this video will help you to create category and look the report category wise. If you have any question you can always reach out to us as through IMS support.